Hello, welcome back to uh, part two for our Circles uh, Budgeting at Stay at Home uh, video series here. Um, so hopefully last week you were able to spend some time gathering, researching, learning about your what it would cost, what it would, uh, all of the expenses that it would go into to being uh, stable for your family and really putting some time into that, putting some thought, putting some intention to that and coming uh, with a bottom line. I hope you were able to do that. If you did not do that, please go back to that video, go back to that homework assignment and do that before you move on or you'll just get lost and, and then you might give up the whole thing. So I encourage you again to keep doing this. There's so much uh, freedom and joy when you can just freely put your dollars and cents, your income and your expense on paper and be intentional about that and plan about that. Uh, and then the fear goes away of will there be enough um, when things happen or unknowns and emergencies or when you run to the end of the month and you don't know, understand how you got here with zero dollars um, uh, just to make sure it's on paper and then track that. So step one we talked about last week was just recording those expenses. Today we're going to take a look at what is that. So we're starting where you picked up, where you left off last week. We're going to pick right up. Uh, I'm just going to do again some hypothetical. Again, you can do all of this on just a notebook. Um, next week we'll get into some more the documents. You can use again the tools that I showed you last week um, that we've sent out again uh, with the, the, the Bank of Prairie SAC is putting out. These are again just as trigger points. When you're looking at income, today we're going to look at income, um, but ideas of what is your take home again make sure you're looking at the net you know once taxes and things are pulled out that's what you can play around with that's your money uh, but if you're other um if you have other other sources of income too there's in, in interest and gifts and things like that just to make sure that these might trigger some places that you can earn income for your goal um and again like we're still playing this um this isn't looking at exactly what you're doing now it's starting with your the bottom line, what you what you need to live stably, and then how are you going to get there? That's what we're going to talk about and dream about today. So uh, let's just say I'm going to start off with a number that you came as your family a bottom line. You said, okay, we need um, thirty six thousand uh, dollars to uh, sustainably live comfortably uh, and get what we need uh, covered there with all of our expenses, with our housing, transportation, and childcare, and everything that's on their food uh, and all that. Uh, you might, I'm, I'm sure you're not gonna land on that. You'll be probably something different, but how are we going to get there? Um, and this is where you get to start having some fun. Where, where did you, where, what kind of jobs are you interested in? What type of work are you looking to reach that goal? Um, and it might be you as an individual or you as a married couple, if you have kids, then maybe you, at some point in this equation, you might realize, oh, we both gotta go back to work. And then you need to, might need to adjust your, your expenses because you had to increase childcare that you weren't uh, planning on because if both people are working, things like that. So that might, you might go back and forth between this video and the last one, income and expense. So just to put some play, playing around here with this together. So if currently, if the minimum wage, if you have a minimum wage job, if you're working at 725 uh, annually, um, you're going to need about 14,000, you're gonna get about $14,000. It's a little bit short of your 36, right? Less than half even there. Uh, so a minimum wage job isn't going to reach your goal. You're going to have to think, okay, if I start here, where do I got to get uh, get going from there? Again, I, I guess I didn't mention, but this 36 was when you took your monthly budget that we made a monthly budget, simply multiply it by 12, and that's how you get your, uh, your total uh, annual. So this is a per year uh, dollar amount that we're looking at. Okay, so this is per hour, you got 25, 725 an hour, 14. So either you need to have someone else working or you need to have other sources of income, how you might wanna do that. If you just simply divide this by hourly, on average, a full-time job is 2,000 hours. If you want to just know that, um, that that's working full-time is 2,000 in a year. That's 50 weeks out of the year, you get two weeks off, eight hours a day. That's how you get to 2,000. Um, you might work more than that or you might have, you know, you could get you could get more than this if you work more hours. That's fourteen thousand by doing two thousand. So you could just work, you know, you could just work uh, twenty hours a day, and you could reach that. Um, maybe that's not practical for who your life. And so two thousand hours divided by thirty six thousand uh, dollars is, is an eighteen uh, dollar an hour job. So to reach that goal, so this is the this is the math. I hope you're doing. You will be doing this week. So if you got your start with here. How do you want to get to that? So are you going to have one person looking at for an 18 hour, uh, dollar an hour job? 
and what does that look like, right? So now you can begin. This is where I would encourage you to go again, back on, online or talk to your allies um, and look what types of jobs land at this dollar amount that you're looking for. Um, and maybe you got two people and you each are gonna work full-time jobs, so you can do it for $9 an hour uh, for two people. Uh, or maybe one person, you know, maybe you have to split the difference. One person's working 2,000 hours and one person's working 1,000 hours in your family. And so you can do the math that way, right? So what do you all need to get to? So maybe you're interested, hey, I really wanna work in an office, I wanna be a you know, uh, front desk type person, uh, secretarial, admin, what are those paying salaries out there in, in our community? And how how many are hiring? Uh, you know that you be, you're beginning right now in retail, but you want to move into office or desk. Uh, maybe you're looking. You you have always had a passion for healthcare and nursing, and you want to go back to school, and, and that might be your way to your goal, right? Uh, and so, what does it start looking at that? And what kind of dollar amount um, will that get you to? And will that reach your goal? And will both people have to work in your family, or 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 one and do childcare that way? Um, so that's all today's lesson is really is to take what your starting point is, what your, your stable goal dollars an hour, dollars per year, figure out how many dollars an hour it needs to be, and then start matching. You know, I want to do um, mechanic. And so then that will then that will be some good conversation with you and your ally to say, how do I get from working at retail? And I want to become a mechanic and I would like to do that in three years so that I can get my dollar amount and bring it up there. So that's where you can start game planning. Now that you know what you need to be stable, how do you want to get there? Everyone's different. Not everyone wants to be a mechanic. Not everyone wants to be a nurse. Not everyone wants to be uh, whatever. Uh, so how do you and your family want to get to this goal? And then just see, is that is that possible? Is the dollar amount possible there or do you have to be creative? Uh, this works again too if you're self-employed you can figure that in if you're making uh, you know if you want to make uh, half 50 percent of your income uh, 50 percent of your need through um, self-employed that works you know that if that's reasonable for your business and then you're going to make 50 percent of your goal through a wage salary you know and so that's you get to play get creative get that notebook out start subtracting adding multiplying to figure out um, how you and your family is going to reach that circle's dollar goal. Hopefully that makes sense. If you have questions, uh, first refer to your allies, and then second, you can call us anytime, um, and we can talk you through some of that this week. If not, good, have enjoy, have a fun week, and, and, and spend some time together dreaming and brainstorming about how you uh, want to reach that circle's goal uh, financially. So thank you, take care, bye.